Hey there, welcome to another video and I hope you are doing well at home. So today I am going to discuss about the interesting topic and fascinating topic and that is the menstrual cycle but it's little bit difficult to understand like uh, which level rise at which day like LH surge occurs at which day or uh, which is the first hormone is going to rise. So that's little bit complex but we are going to discuss with only one image. So I hope that you will see the end. So watch till the end. So before knowing about the menstrual cycle, you have to know about uh, two concepts. First, oogenesis that like oogonium is converted into a primary oocyte that it remains uh, till puberty and after the puberty it completes its further meiosis. And second one that uh, from the thalamus one hormone is released, uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone that uh, sends signal to the anterior pituitary to secrete LH and FSH. Now LH is going to act on the theca cell and they produce the androstenedion. Okay, and FSH they act on granular cell and they uh, secrete the aromatase. So aromatase do what? It converts the androstenedion into the estrogen. So they are the two basic concepts. Now let's look at the menstrual cycle. Okay, so now let's discuss about the menstrual cycle. So you can see here one complex image, but it's not complex. We are going to discuss this image uh, uh, in few minutes. Now let's discuss first what this image says. So here, the upper part is a ovarian change and lower part is the endometrial change. So in the menstrual cycle, there are the four changes occur, ovarian changes, endometrial changes, change in the cervix and change in the vagina. So we are going to discuss the major changes that are the ovarian changes and endometrial changes. Now here you can see that oocyte is here. So we are going to first discuss about the ovarian change. Now you can see here there is a oocyte. Now inside the oocyte there is a egg. Second thing, here you can see the blue line. That blue line is of follicular stimulating hormone. You can see here the purple line. That purple line is of estrogen. Now you can see here the very prominent uh, orange line that is the luteinizing hormone LH. And you can see here the dotted line, red line or pink line that is the line of progesterone. Now let's discuss about the ovarian changes and its phase. So it has a three phases, follicular phase, ovulation phase and luteal phase. Now let's discuss what happened in the follicular phase. So in the follicular phase, the first hormone rises, it's a follicular stimulating hormone. So first hormone in the menstrual cycle rise, it's a follicular stimulating hormone and name itself, it's a follicular stimulating hormone. So it stimulate the follicle, it stimulate mainly 10 to 20 follicle. But from that 10 to 20, only one becomes dominant and that called the graphene follicle. Now second hormone rises it's a estrogen. So you can see the curve of estrogen, it's a rises. You can see the curve of follicular stimulating hormone, it rises first. Okay. Now estrogen rises, so estrogen rise before the ovulation. Okay, now let's talk about the ovulation phase. So you can see that estrogen rises before the ovulation. Now one thing here in ovulational phase that estrogen and LH, luteinizing hormone, they are boyfriend and girlfriend. So wherever the boy goes, girl goes. Okay. So estrogen increases, that luteinizing hormone also increases because of the positive feedback. Now in the ovulational phase, luteinizing hormone increases and that called the LH surge. Okay, and LH surge occurs before the 36 hours of ovulation and LH is at the peak level before the 10 hours of the ovulation. Now here you can see one thing that FSH is also increased in ovulational phase. You can see the FSH curve. So here in the ovulational phase, FSH is rise and LH is also rise. And what they do? So LH and FSH uh, lies the wall of graphene follicle and egg is released. Okay. 
Now that egg goes to the fallopian tube and if sperm is there, egg and sperm combine and they do the fertilization and if sperm is not there, egg is going to degenerate. Okay, so now ovulation is completed and ovulation occurs at the 14th day. Now what happened after ovulation? So jo egg tha wo to chala gaya fallopian tube mein bacha hai kya apna graphene follicle. Now what happened to that follicle? Blood comes inside the graphene follicle and that blood clots there and form the yellow color compound, yellow color structure and that yellow color structure called the corpus luteum. Now corpus luteum is going to secrete the progesterone. So you can clearly see the curve of progesterone that is increases or rises very much. You can see that this is a curve of progesterone that increases very much. Now that is the ovarian cycle. Now what happened to the corpus luteum? If egg gets fertilized, that corpus luteum remains and if egg is not fertilized, corpus luteum degenerate after the few days. So that is the whole ovarian cycle. Now we are going to discuss about the endometrial cycle. Now you can see here the endometrial changes and it has a three phases. One proliferative phase that lasts for 4 to 14 days. Secretory phase that lasts for 14 to 28 days. And there is a menstrual phase that lasts for 1 to 5 days or 1 to 4 days. Now let's discuss about the proliferative phase. So what happened in the proliferative phase? There is a rise in estrogen. And estrogen do what? Estrogen increases the thickness of endometrial wall. So here endometrial wall gets thickened and also the glands in that endometrial wall are going to be lengthened. Now what happened in the secretory phase? So in the secretory phase means luteal phase. Progesterone increases. Now progesterone also uh, increases the thickness of endometrial wall. And here we can see the highest or maximum thickness of endometrial wall is seen. Now what happen if that egg or ovum is not fertilized, corpus luteum gets degenerated. Now corpus luteum secretes the progesterone and if corpus luteum gets degenerated, progesterone level falls. Now if progesterone level falls, there is a spinal arteries in endometrial wall, they are constricted and degenerated by the prostaglandin PGF2 alpha. And then what happened? The superficial two-third layer of endometrial wall gets shaded and we can see the blood loss. So here this is the whole menstrual cycle and uh, this is the one cycle. Now after the blood loss, the again follicular phase, then ovulation, then luteal phase, proliferation, then secretory phase, again menstrual phase. Okay, so that happened. So now let's summarize the whole menstrual cycle. So what happened first? FSH, follicular stimulating hormone increases or rises. So it stimulates the follicle 10 to uh, 20 and one becomes dominant that called the graphene follicle. Now what happened? Estrogen rises before the ovulation. Now estrogen and LH are the boyfriend and girlfriend. So estrogen rises. Rises, LH also rises. Now LH surge occur with the FSH and they do what? They lies the graphene follicle wall. Now egg is going to be released. Now egg uh, goes to the fallopian tube. If sperm is there, it's fertilized. If sperm is not there, it degenerate. Now what happened to the graphene follicle in the luteal phase? So blood gets inside the graphene follicle and that blood clots and uh, there is a yellow color structure is there that called the corpus luteum. Now what corpus luteum do? So they increases the progeny on level. So that's the today's short video and I hope ki aapko pasand aaya hoga and aapko samaj mein bhi aaya hoga. So agar aapko aur bhi aise videos chahe to please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon.